Hi, I am Dr. Asya Nawaz Alvi, working as Associate Consultant in Obstetrics and Gynecology Department, Mukhtar e Sheikh Hospital. Today, our Head of Department, Prof. Dr. Huma Kudusi, is going to put some light on the leading causes of maternal deaths. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Asya, uh, for giving me this opportunity uh, to talk on a very important uh, subject. Um, well, talking about Pakistani women, we know that more than 50% of the population in the country comprises of women, especially women of uh, uh, reproductive years. And this is the, these are the women who are exposed to the risk of pregnancy, childbirth and uh, of course the risk of death uh, during childbirth which is very very tragic because uh, death of a woman, death of a mother means um, in fact the destruction of the entire family. In terms of um, the leading causes of maternal death, uh, when we talk of the causes in the third world country, uh, obstetric hemorrhage, mainly postpartum hemorrhage is a very important and leading cause. And this is a preventable cause uh, and a number of steps can be taken to prevent uh, this tragedy from happening. Um, to start with, it is important that all women who are in the reproductive years their health should be taken care of and especially the nutrition of women is very important and this should start right from the age of adolescence uh, to the reproductive years and this includes giving them a balanced diet especially we could be talking about uh, nutritional supplements like iron and folic acid and once they uh, get married and they are into a pregnancy it is extremely important for the entire family to understand that this is a very stressful situation and the woman needs extra care and support and the best thing to do is to have a supervised pregnancy care which means that they should be uh, booked at a hospital or at least with a traditional birth attendant or a trained midwife to supervise their pregnancy and just in case a complication arises they should have a clear referral pathways to a tertiary care hospital uh, so as to manage these complications. It is important that throughout pregnancy they are given nutritional supplements. They are also given some basic education about the care of uh, the woman during pregnancy and also the care of the newborn. And this will add on to the health of the woman as well as her coming uh, baby. Uh, in terms of uh, the pregnancy and the childbirth, it should be a supervised childbirth. And uh, as I said that uh, there should be a way of picking up women uh, according to their risk assessment to determine that at what level of care these women should be uh, you know, delivering. Like women who are grand multiples, those who are anemic, uh, they have less child spacing, they need to be uh, booked and they need to be delivered in a tertiary care centre where we have all the facilities for blood transfusion, for emergency obstetric care and uh, you know uh, care of uh, any emergency situations which is postpartum hemorrhage that might be there and the low risk women can be managed in midwifery care or at a uh, you know uh, not at level three maybe at level one of obstetric care and this is extremely important that we need to prioritize the level of care given to our women mm -hmm. and to create a coordinated maternity care so that right from the footstep of a woman's house up to the tertiary care, they have different levels of care. And it is very important for the, uh, for the entire family to understand. It's not just the woman because we know that our women are not empowered. So it's not only the understanding of a woman, it's her husband, it is her mother-in-law, the mother, the entire family to understand that she needs extra care and support. And I think if these measures are taken care of, a number of preventable maternal complications which can end up into a serious tragedy can be prevented. So uh, my message to the masses would be uh, to give importance to the health of women, to the health of girls, adolescent, and when young women are pregnant, they should be specially taken care of and supported to prevent many other complications also not only hemorrhage, which is of course the leading cause, but there can be many other uh, you know, causes which can result in severe morbidity of the women uh, in terms of uh, complications during childbirth, which could be sometimes a severe psychological trauma that can affect the woman 
and that can have a serious traumatic effect later on her life. So I think these should also be taken care of and it is also important to educate our midwives, uh, the traditional birth attendants and all those who are working at a primary health level to uh, be aware of all this situation, these complications that can happen and they should be uh, appropriately addressed. Thank you Dr. Uma for sharing uh, such uh, information in a proficient manner. I hope it will add some positivity in the journey of womanhood. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. For Thank you.